If you are like me, you may have multiple Gmail accounts or Google accounts that you're working with. Knowing where one document is compared to another can be somewhat of a hassle. What I do is I have a, a kind of a hack that I don't even worry about it because I share the folder with my other accounts. So right now I'm in my JCC Google account and up in the right hand corner I know that because I can mouse over it and it tells me that I'm in that particular account. So my SUNY JCC account. So anything that I create is really tied to the SUNY JCC account, but I, that's not where I normally, that's not the account that I normally have open. So one of the things that I do is I share folders that I will work in quite regularly with my my personal account so I can work on them anywhere that I am. And I don't have to, to think and worry about which account that I was logged into. I just make sure that I, I get to the right one. We're gonna go use this test folder that I created and we're just basically gonna give permissions. So I'm gonna share this and when I share, I'm gonna click on share and what I wanna do is I want to add my personal account in there. Stand out, grab it, and then I, I, so I have now my personal account. I wanna be able to organize, add, and edit, so that's kind of important. It'll notify me, it'll send me an email, let me know, and I still have the permissions that I set from you know a previous video um, in here. So that's not gonna change. All I'm doing is very specifically giving myself the ability to edit from my personal account. And now I'll click on send. Here's a warning that this individual is not in the G Suite organization. The item belongs to, are you sure you wanna share with that? And in my case, I say yes. And so now um, it is shared with me, right? So it's, uh, I know it's specifically there. So if I go to my other account and open up, go to my Google Drive, what I'm hoping is to see that dot test folder there, but I don't see it. This means that I have to go to where it's shared. And in fact, it's shared with me. So I will select that. And there is that folder that is shared with me. Being lazy, um, I don't necessarily want to keep going to the shared with me because I'll forget about it. So what I wanna do is I actually want to put this in my drive. So I will right click on this folder and, and I just want to show that up in my account, this shows that it's in my personal drive. I'm going to right click on it. And one of the options I have is add to my drive. So I'm going to do that. And when I go now to my drive, there is that test folder. So I can make changes to those documents that are in there from this particular account, or I could go to my SUNY JCC account and make a change. So if I wanted to add a new document, maybe a spreadsheet, create and share. Let me just name it something clever like new spreadsheet. And I'll close that and we'll see that that document shows up here. There we go. The new spreadsheet. And if I go back to my folder, it'll eventually pop up here also. Sometimes I can prompt it a little bit by just doing a refresh and there is the, uh, the new file. Uh, lets me know who the owner is. And if I created something, let me go back to the account. So it says owner me, if I create a file here. So for example, I will create another Google slide and this is my new presentation. So I'm creating this in my personal account, but in that folder that shared with me, close that and there's my new presentation. And it says the owner is me, which that's my personal account. And now if I go over to this folder, I can refresh it to get it there quicker. And there's my new presentation and it lets me know what account created that. So you can see that back and forth, I can work from both accounts and uh, still be able to do my work. So I don't have to think which account is it in, uh, it just happens.